everybody, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 27 of our RimWorld Alpha 15 Fallville Let's Play. We're on Cassandra, extreme difficulty permadeath, with an outdoor colony, and the tundra biome. When we left off, our colony of Fallville had just fought off some rampaging wargs, and uh, we we're doing a little uh, redesign in our kill zone area here. Going to put in some doorways so we can set up uh, better spots for our short range people to fire from. I like to leave little gaps between these doors here. Uh, but I'll be able to put, uh, uh, put pawns inside those doors with their charge rifles. And that'll be really beneficial for fighting, uh, fighting these guys as they come in. Um, so it looks like we've lost a couple of. Uh, Pots. I think it, there was a rocket that went off. I think that's when we lost that thing. Um, so that's easy enough. We can go ahead and build copies of those. Just like that. You know, maybe a better spot to build copy. Maybe I should build those back a little further. Like that instead. So that'll still get them stopping in front of these doors. The drawback about having them stand in here is that it's their line of fire is going to be kind of like this. So I, uh, they won't, although maybe they can shoot directly up along the wall. I don't want to, I can't say for sure one way or the other. Don't need to keep scyther blades in there. Okay, we want, uh, I don't want those either. Not that I'm just going to run across them, but I've never installed a joy wire. It sounds like the downsides are pretty, pretty unfortunate. Like minus 20% to uh, uh, whatever the cognitive power thing is. Thinking, thinking ability, consciousness. There you go. Sorry, my consciousness is only at 80%. So maybe I have a joy wire installed. I'll try building a couple more beds while we're at it. Got a few too many build items in the queue, I would say. I don't like that they're constantly coming around up here, part of their pathfinding. Batteries are still running low. What happened to... I was sure I installed the solar panel down there. Oh, you know what? I decided against it because a solar panel is not going to be the solution to our problems. What will be the solution to our problems is a geothermal generator. So let's grab that. One thing I really like about Tundra is uh, fires don't spread, uh, but a geothermal is a big investment of resources. So I'm still going to go ahead and surround it with uh, surround it with flooring. Uh, a too wide floor will prevent a fire from spreading, because uh, fire only jumps two squares. So you just surround your valuable items with two squares. That'll never catch on fire. Now that's not true because I'm going to have a power line running down here, and it could burn along the power line and catch this on fire. But that's uh, pretty safe. Uh, uh, oh. Um, pretty safe when you have it surrounded like that. You can usually catch the power line burning burning down that way. So we're going to need to connect you to our main grid. We don't want you connected to the, the uh, switch grid up here. So we'll just run the power line there. It'd be nice if I had already replaced that with a real wall. But we can do a temporary power line along here. Just go up conventionally. Run you like that, I suppose. Good. Well, this will this will be real nice for the next time we have to use our kill zone. I guess I could set up the other side as well. Let's wait till I get some of this other construction done first. There's really no need to rush. I've only got four uh, short range, three short range 
people anyways. What's in those cargo pods? Meh. I'm still amazed we... I mean, I shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch, but I'm amazed we made it through this winter without, uh, without any snow. I didn't set that area up of mine. Up there, right? Yeah. Need to build a wall along here. Like that. Then I can actually tear that wall down. I guess there's no need to wait. in there. Get a little bit of steel. Oh, not that much. Yep. And as, have I built my mold analyzer yet? I have. Great. But and because it's unpowered, it's still probably not going to let me do uh, component assembly. I need to get power. But I will do that before signing another research poor come on ah are you kidding me and you're being attacked by a wolf all right well yeah that's not good all right so that means that wolf is probably going to come around i need to worry about that hunting vasilisa vasilisa i'm going to come down this way Give him what he wants. Oh, you seem to have lost your weapon there, Buchanan. Probably when you almost died in the last raid. Um, hey, uh, Wolfie. We came down here to fight you directly. What's wrong with you? We're bringing the fight to you. There we go, thank you. Greg, why don't you come over here and instead of fighting him one on one, there we go. And the two of you can fight him together. There we go. Mission accomplished. Oh, Buchanan. Oh, that's right, because you were going to help out with the fight, I suppose. I don't know why Dorna seems incapable of building a decent bed. Maybe Shu will pick up the slack. Good, well, the basic structure is set up for that defensive area. Hmm. I like the Megatherium wall. Do not like the extreme distance that I would have to travel to bring it back, though. It's a long ways. I already have this uh, polar bear skin sitting over here. Yep. What's wrong with shoes gear? You can only get under 28. Oh, you don't have a jacket of any sort? Why? Probably probably not allowed down in that area would be my guess. Oh, you are allowed down in that area. Well then, what's your excuse? Do I have it set to not allow parkas? I do. That's why. Whoops. You as well. Forget to switch it back, and everybody will be wearing parkas for the summer. Nice little exchange of jackets going on down there. And a poison ship. Where are you at, poison ship? Oh, good. Nice and close. 
don't really need to worry. Vasilisa, you've got some fights that you're dealing with. How's everybody move-wise? Uh, you need to eat, so let's assign you to eat. You're in good shape. So I will have you reinstall this. I'm going to have to actually going to have to build some power lines up here too, so we'll set you along here and uh, is that you are the one that I'm going to have do that? Not a sign of constructing. Let's, let's change that. construction projects I'm concerned about. Let's forbid you for now. Uh, and uh, I'm going to cancel. Cancel you. Don't mind if that power line gets built. It's not going to take too long. Well, since I'm not going to be able to attack right away, I don't really need to do all this micromanagement. So I was going to set the turrets up somewhere around here, I would say. Should be fine build a little uh, defensive area. Not that I really need to worry about these guys getting attacked. The uh, turrets will absorb all the bullets. So, yep, there's one of the turrets. I'll reinstall this one. This one, one, two, three, four, five, and then this one, one, two, three, four, five. Great, and you know what? I'm actually going to allow you, because we need that power, and I might need that power to deal with the ship. Um, one thing you want to do when you have a poison ship land, it's a good idea to, to unallow your uh, garden, uh, otherwise you're Ponds will run back and forth trying to replant uh, this stuff. I think we're going to knock this ship out before it gets to the point that uh, the poison is spread all the way down there. Uh, but if I do see the field starting to die off, I'm going to have to run down and do that. Just notice that for some reason I still have these zones set up. This shouldn't have anything growing in it. This should have been trimmed up a long time ago. And uh, this one over here as well. Oh, that one's, that one's tidy. Alright. Good. Should be able to get all this work done pretty reasonably without having to worry about, especially with a poison ship. I don't have that psychic drone. Uh, you know, that's uh, potentially going to cause some serious problems. Hmm, I can unforbid. Well, that warg is unforbidden as well, and so is that wolf. So let's uh, eat those other corpses before I start chopping up some new ones. How am I doing on components? 41. Not bad. Ah, good. Research. Component assembly. Not that I have any steel to spare to be using on building components, but at least I have the capacity for it. Right. Do I want to wait till morning? Or do I just want to get this over with? I could probably just get it over with. So if I set the battery up, set the battery up right there. And can you do that? You can. All right, let's draft everybody else. What's in the cargo pod? Uh, more stuff to build clothing with. All right, so we'll you know, just put you there. Shoe, and 
now all we need is Flay to get that battery installed. And we are ready to rock. Unless I've forgotten something tragic. Hopefully I haven't. Wonder if these guys will come help out. Probably not. If they were somehow uh, under attack, they would, but uh, they're not going to be. Great. There we go. It's fighting time. You guys should no longer be shooting at the ship. You should be shooting at the bad guys. Do we have Inferno cannons? Not seen a lot of shooting. Nope, everybody has many guns, so that's great. That means I will be able to probably not lose any of my uh, lose any of my turrets. Huh. Spoke too soon. That's alright. I can lose a turret. Even in this game where I'm pretty limited on resources. I can manage to deal with one or two turret losses. Conceivably I could turn these uh, mechs into a plasteel turret. Which would uh, prevent most of the most of the destruction. Destruction I'm seeing up my turret. It's interesting that you don't seem to be able to fire around that shell. Can you fire at uh, him? You can't. So let's have you guys fire at the ship too. is over with and you know what this is pretty close to home so I'm gonna go ahead and unrestrict all of you we're gonna unforbid that we're gonna set it to speed one and uh, let's get these set up to shut down shut all of you down That's it for you. We install you down here. Food poisoning again. It's a classic problem. I guess I'm gonna reinstall you on the network so you can charge up. That's a dangerous game. It's always possible that I forget to uninstall them. Um, I think I'm gonna move those potted plants back here a little more. Maybe set the turrets up like along this area. I don't want to have it. Oh, I'll move that light, I think. Would be the correct answer there. So there's going to be some serious rearrangement going on here. That's what you need to do. Still kind of a learning process. Every kill box is different. And I need to build a new one. Do I want to try to... I'm going to actually go ahead and set up a... Uh, set up one for Plasteel. These are very durable. And uh, I don't have enough Plasteel stored yet, but I will soon enough as soon as... Uh, as soon as Shu gets around to crafting them. Let's uh, well, let's let this stuff get moved first, and then we're gonna go and uh, undo or uh, 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 to get those those things built. That's what I'm trying to say. Get those beds built. To the point where I can make it to where it's only my high quality constructor, so maybe I can get a quality bed. That's uh, really what I'm looking for. I should get a Casper mattress, which is a quality bed at a fraction of the cost. I actually. Uh, have a one of those mattresses you buy online that was not advertised on a podcast that I listened to, so I'm not going to tell anybody what that brand is, but it's a nice mattress. I really like it. Uh, and uh, you should listen to podcasts and buy a mattress through who they advertise. I'm not too concerned about a squirrel. Even if you make it through my uh, perimeter defense, which of course I expect you to do, or just run around over there like a dummy. Right. All right. So it looks like everything's constructed then. 
Let's get that, uh, let's get those floors set up like I wanted to earlier. Uh, so this is fireproof, more or less. <clears throat> I mean, somebody's gonna have to fight that squirrel. Let's just melee the squirrel. Plenty of scratches and bites. That's what you get for hand to hand combat. Now, you know what would be best with somebody who's injured and who has a uh, bed rest and patient set to their highest priority? Probably would be best if you went and rested in a bed. That would have been the perfect spot for me to take a save and submit it to the bug forum. Oh, another uh, sculpture that I can install. So I've got one. Uh, how's this room looking? positive beauty and mediocre so let's uh, reinstall you there now why why is nobody cooking I have a couple of people set to cook play why aren't you cooking and uh, I thought I had more than more than you guys set to cook I guess I don't but yeah, why isn't place cooking? Why are you all... Oh, oh, construction. But... Oh, that's why. There we go. Unnecessary. I guess I was going to keep them on the high-end construction until they got that built out. Let's uh, tidy up my home areas. I don't need you cleaning up the dirt outside, Kimmy. I appreciate your initiative. That's really not necessary. Leave you in the home area so you'll get needed repairs. But yeah, this uh, stuff doesn't need to be kept too clean. Definitely not that area. Uh, do I have everybody restricted or something? Nobody's coming up here and killing these, uh, killing these mechs. They're not restricted. <clears throat> no telling why they're letting them just live up there. Uh, and I've uh, fixed up the construction thing I have, so I can put you back on to being built. Hopefully, somebody with any sense of competence will construct you instead of just leaving you for the random person I end up assigning eventually. But I need to get the, uh, I need to get a mech um, chopped up so I can uh, build that uh, turret up there. Oh, there is some plasteel. That gets me to, what, 63? I think I need 75 for the turret. That's correct, 75. It's the only thing they're waiting on. Hopefully I'll get another turret, I mean another uh, mech deconstructed here soon. More food's coming in. I want that to be a tree farm, but I forgot it definitely needs to be my second uh, consumable farm. Which will have a little bit of food and more cotton, I think, right now. Uh, maybe more smoke leaf. Uh, but definitely more heel root. Gonna be a little bit before I'm able to build that. Haul all those. And that. And I can mine out those, uh, now that I've gotten the supports built, I can mine out those pieces. Let's see, the wall's gonna go that away. to prepare for that too. Uh, maybe take a little bit of advantage of the uh, corner corner thing. Just in knowing that I can cut that corner off without you know uh, uh, increasing 
increasing my danger. Hmm, boy, my um, supply of resources is very low. Dromedaries join. Well, there's some free meat, I guess. I, I don't want them for their humps. Although, uh, dromedaries provide milk and uh, really nice fur. Um, but I'm not going to them around anyways. Uh, so animals, you are going to the home area and then you will be slaughtered. Do I have anybody set up to handle? The shoe keeps getting stuck with this stuff. I don't think it matters who kills the, who kills the uh, animals. Uh, so we'll have Lumi do it and uh, we're going to go ahead and set those guys to slaughter. And hopefully Lumi doesn't come wandering all the way out here. Well, I did talk earlier about how great it was that there was no snow on the ground. Uh, now there's some snow on the ground. Hey, and guess what? Lumi's going to go kill those dromedaries all the way out there. Uh, why don't you not do that, Lumi? So let's move you back to that. Do that so you don't waste your time walking out there. And I'll uh, switch you back once that... What? Is that a... I have a home area up there? Ugh. So that means somebody's been going up there. Look at how nice and clean it is up there. Somebody's been going up there and cleaning this up the entire time. Do I have any other weird home areas that I'm not thinking about? I should take a look around the map and see how it looks. Like around here. That's not important. That's not important. Clean you up. That's fine. Let's see a big home area around this one. I thought I had just cleaned, but I guess it must have been from the power line or something. Uh, who knows? It's, it's going to expand out again once they build those uh, those tile floors. Great, in good shape. All right, now I can turn that guy on to animal killing. Smoke leaf addiction. You know, the every other day. Drug restriction was supposed to, yep, every two days. It's supposed to prevent addiction. I, I guess, I guess not. Maybe it's only prevented tolerance. You don't have a tolerance, at least, so that's good. But I feel like with your addiction, you're probably going to build up a tolerance. I'm not quite sure uh, how often you need to smoke to meet your addiction. If it's every other day, we'll be fine. Supposedly, smoke leaf is supposed to have like a 0.1% chance of addiction or maybe straight up 1% chance of addiction. Maybe it's maybe it's been bumped up. 1.3% chance. Um, is that supposed to be per use or something? Uh, because otherwise, you know, that's ridiculous. Uh, but, sorry. It's good for joy. And it's pretty easy to grow. Doesn't require any specialized benches or anything like that. Oh, look at that, our plasteel turret. Ready to go. A combat supplier passing by. That's good, because I believe I have some guns I need to unload. You know, I know one of my new pawns is uh, talented, and that's Vasilisa. So, you can go ahead and haul that sky there, and then we will have you make that call to the combat supplier. Why were you... Oh, you were holding, hauling the blade. Not the Skyder itself. Well, I have the opportunity to buy a bionic arm, but I don't think there's going to be enough stuff for me to sell to afford that. I can sell a wooden mace. Get rid of those knives. Oh yeah, I was going to check and see how much the shoddy sniper rifles were. 34. And uh, steel costs about a dollar to bring in, so I think it's probably worth tearing up that shoddy sniper rifle. Um, but the shoddy plasteel knives are worth a hundred each, so I don't think I want to tear those ones up. Because I don't know how much plasteel you get, but I guess if you got nine or ten, it would be a good, uh, you know, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, uh, dismantle those and see what happens. 
Uh, you guys are definitely going to dismantle those pistols and the sniper rifle. That's fine. But the normal one. Interesting that a shoddy survive. Oh, it's 94%. That's why. But I'll still. I'll go ahead and sell you. Sell you. stuff to get rid of. Those are the same clothes that I wanted to hold on to last time. Actually, I seem to have fewer of them than last time. So I have 583 silver. Do I want to spend any of it? I don't really want to buy any clothes or weapons. That's pretty much all you have. I could buy some medicine. That's potentially interesting. Is that what I want to spend my money on, though? I have herbal medicine, and, and unless I'm doing surgery... Herbal medicine usually does the trick. So, you know what? I'm going to just take the silver. Call it good. Um, they did not drop my silver. Where did they drop that silver at? Because I thought they would drop it into these. Those, that's supposed to be the point, is they drop them into those target holes. And uh, it looks like they dropped the silver somewhere that is not in those target holes. But I don't see it over here either. Oh, so it dropped him near the target holes, but it's still, hmm, still outside the zone. Maybe if I put the roof area, yeah, maybe I needed to expand the roof area a little more, which is fine. I can do that, expand it out that way, and I'll expand it, cover that whole thing out. And uh, why not? I'll expand it out to there, too. I think that covers up the whole drop zone. So we'll see what happens next time, whether it drops him through those uh, aiming spots. That's supposed to be what what the tip and trick was on Reddit that I read yesterday. And uh, I believe while we were doing that transaction, the timer went off. So that is the end of this episode as well. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, if you did, uh, be sure to like this video uh, and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, tell your friends about it if you're enjoying this. You have people that for some reason want to watch somebody play RimWorld and have chatter constantly for 30 minutes at a time. This is the place to go. Um, uh, leave some comments down in the comments below, and I'll uh, talk with you. I'm more than happy to chat about uh, the things that I forgot to do or whatever. Uh, please do keep in mind, though, that uh, I have uh, only just released the fir first 10 episodes while I'm recording this one and uh, haven't had any comments or anything left. So uh, don't expect me to comment in, like, episode 29 from what you leave in the comments here. Uh, but uh, I do read them. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.